Hey there, welcome back guys. This is gonna be a quick video tip on the Pavo Pico to show you how to um, get your GPSs going without overheating the unit. So what you wanna do is put the drone in the right place, uh, wherever that is you decide, uh, but make sure you get full satellite connections. Uh, con it's connected to Betaflight. And what you're gonna do is click connect. And once you connect it, right, you're going to um, enable expert mode and scroll down to the GPS part. And as you can see, the satellites are already loaded, which is great. You might want a little bit more, but you can see at the top um, where it says 3D fix, that green, it says true. And that's what you want. Uh, Cause sometimes it can take a while, but the time you get all your satellites, the drones are overheated and you can't do anything. All right, so let me just take a, well, you actually, you can see what I'm doing um, so that you can get a video clip of this. But, um, you have everything running and once the drone is in the spot right you quickly connect the battery okay um and as you can see right now i haven't done that yet but uh you know i'm just making maybe i want a little bit more satellites before um you know i actually uh, take the drone up into the air um, and make sure you put some hours and time into the fi flight simulator i can't express that more um, even though you know i'm nowhere near where i need to be i'm still familiar with with the um the fail safes and and flying and and positioning the drone and being aware of how fast it actually goes with, from the distance i'm standing um uh, to to where it actually could be within a matter of seconds and you just got to be really fast if, if it goes far away then you're pretty much screwed and you have to be able to, you can pray to hope and get your 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 Pablo Pico because uh, it is a fast Cinewoop. Really feel like I got more satellites, which is great. Um, I think it's um, almost ready for for a launch. So as you can see, I just um, I have it. I'm ready to put the battery in, and you got to be fast, right? Because um, it's going to pick up where it left off. But leave the leave it connected to Betaflight while you put the battery in, so that you don't lose the connection and it has to find itself again, right? And then what you do is you quickly like I said, plug the battery in, unplug the unit after the battery is plugged in and make sure it's in an area of, of a good spot. And as you can see, the um, distance is working. You see, I have zero feet. GPS coordinates is working, which is great. Um, and then everything else, I'm in horizon mode. Uh, hopefully I can sail off into the horizon, but it's really tricky. It's so sensitive that the slightest tap just throws the drone in the air. And as you can see, there I am flying look at me i have my pavo pico and then i spin it around november 9815 go ahead i have no idea where i'm going i'm, I'm gonna crash baby baby um there it is but this is where the gps unit comes in as you can see 9815 let me say last known position i it's 140 something feet away and but um then it goes to three feet away because i reactivated it from where i was standing um, so I was able to find it again with thanks to the help of the GPS unit uh, as you can see it was um, somewhere close to the neighbor's property and that's it. I hope this video helped you and you're better able to uh, understand how to have a better experience with your GPS and its advantages and if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them down below or ideas for other videos and remember to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.